All right, guys. Well, I'm riding solo, uh, but Universal still looks pretty busy. It's almost eight o'clock at night. It's a rainy Sunday. Like, I don't know about you guys, but there are days that I just have nothing to do. And so I don't want to do work. And I kind of called a few people and everybody was busy or watching a movie on Netflix or chilling with their girlfriend or wives. And so, you know, I'm like, you know what? Let me just go alone today. It's a rainy day, it can't be that busy. It's a Sunday, tomorrow there's no work, it's President's Day tomorrow. And so I'm like, you know what? Let's just ride solo. It's interesting because I usually come to Universal alone. Uh, no, what am I saying? I usually come to Universal with JP, JP Land, my son. Uh, but this time I kind of feel lonely. I'm a bit lonely, but that's okay. It's a whole different experience. Um, kind of used to it. Uh, just kind of brings back a little bit of memories when I used to work at Universal and you had to walk the park uh, alone. You had to uh, make sure that all the guests were out of the park by a certain time and oftentimes you would find yourself in a uh, part of the park where there's absolutely no one and there's absolutely no noise. And so, you know, that's always kind of trippy, but it's this eerie feeling. Uh, but right now, it's all about me at the park. Uh, you know, I'm not a YouTube, I'm not a, a theme park YouTuber. Uh, I really do this because, um, you know, Baba John is a movement, so let's make it move, guys. Uh, but now that I'm here, uh, I enjoy the stuff that you, uh, theme park YouTubers, do, uh, such as. Team Park Shark, JP Land, Five Fires, you guys are awesome. Exactly. Oh my god. 17, wow. You have 17 cats, I love that. Oh, look how sweet. Is your head she feet? I feel like a stray cat right now. Oh, you look after them. I like that. You gotta watch out for the cat. You got a nice big heart, that's so nice. I love that. Yeah. All right, bye. Nice to see you guys. You. you put the That's food fun. out, you know, you get 17 cats showing up. We'll see you later. Go <laughs> place next time. All right. Hi, hey, guys. Hey, look, Good. A yeah, All I am. Right. A, I'm a paparazzo. Where, where are you oh, from? Yeah. Burbank. Burbank. <laughs> That's it. Everybody in Burbank's a filmmaker. Yeah, you can say that. That's true. It. That's the way it works. That's true. That's and right. then they come here to see all the celebrities. And he's That's got right. that filmmaker look, too. You know, the hoodie, the baseball cap. Very serious, right? Yeah, like the yeah, guy that does his that, movies have stunts in them, kind of guy. Yeah, he's wearing the dark colors so that he could be on set, you know, not be shown up. Exactly. Yeah, I get exactly. It. I get it. We're gonna be coming to this guy for a job one of these days when we want to work in the movies. Oh yeah, in the movies we got a connection now. Hey, we know a guy. There you go. Now we know now a we guy. Now we know a guy in the movies. We have been in a living in a movie studio. We haven't gotten yeah. that yet. I know. We're working on it though. But now we met our first guy who works in the movies. How exciting! Wonderful. Well, Baba John loves you. Good to see too. you. Thank you. Hello, guys. How what? wonderful. Hey. Hey, kid. All Hi. right, guys, we're back. A little bit of love from New York Street. Nice hey, you know what? They opened the plaza. Let's go walk through it. It was closed for the longest time, I guess, for cleanup after... Uh, uh, Grinchmas and whatever else they had over here but wow it feels so good that this place is open oh my goodness you know it's it work walking at Universal is, is, is a little bit tough because there's not much space and so when you end up at a plaza like this you know the center I don't know what it's called but when you end up here you really feel like there is space and like I'm, right now, I'm like in the center. Huh? Okay, so I'm in the center. The center has no no name, but I'm in the center. So let me give you a 360 here. This was where the Grinchmas uh, tree was. All right, let's go this way. 
I just love it when there's not many people at the park. Seriously. Um, I'm not a fan of big crowds. Like, again, I don't know how you uh, wonderful YouTubers do it. Uh, theme park YouTubers where you guys are like at Disneyland the whole day. In the crowds, in the heat, in the rain. I really, really give you guys props. Um, it's tough work. It's tough work and you guys do excellent. All right, here we are. Sunday night, rainy night. Oh, that looks good. Yum. Yes. I wonder if I'm gonna run into anyone. Maybe I'll run into some of my students. Luther Middle School represent. All right, so we're in a, what is this street called? You know, shame on me. I should know this stuff. I should know the names of the streets and the quarters and whatnot. Why do I not know it? But that's where um, England used to be. And now it's the Secret Life of Pets area. Someone's arguing. All right. Just a walk through, guys. At some point, I'm gonna sit down and maybe have a hot chocolate or a hot tea and kind of enjoy the night. Universal closes at 10 o'clock today. Oh, those are the smart guys. They're at the bar. Love the bar. Though I don't drink. Look at those colors. I just love nighttime colors at Universal. It's got a silly, uh, super silly fun land. Honestly, I haven't walked in there in like ages. Let's do it. No, no, no. All right. Sunday night, rainy night. This gives me a little bit of the San Diego, I think it's called Belmont Village vibes. Oh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. What are they doing here? What is this place? Huh. Is that a playground? I didn't know there was a playground here. Huh. I had no idea. Pretty, pretty cool. Was there always a playground here? Really? Yeah. Wow, I've never came that far. I'm always like over there. But I never knew there was a playground here. That's crazy. Yeah, no, a lot of people don't come, come to this area unless they have kids. That's true, that's so true. We're, we're <laughs> kid oriented. Right, 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 right. We have a playground here, one play area. Yeah, this is awesome. Wow, where was I? Interesting, you guys probably already know that there was one. I'm just clueless. Wonderful, thank you so much. You're just looks beautiful with the lights. I really like it. Just keep walking. Have you guys ever been to the store? Let's walk in the store. It feels kind of cozy. Seriously, with the lights and the fact that it's nighttime outside or it's dark outside, this was really cool. I don't really do product reviews. Oh, this is cool. Yeah.
Well, since I don't do product reviews, um, I'm not going to bore you with all the products. But this is a this is pretty cool too. Minion goggles. I haven't seen anybody with them. Maybe one of these days I'll see someone wearing them. And I'll say, you got the goggles, dude. All right, let's keep walking. This looks like a cool thing to play. Everyone knows that when you go to Universal Studios, you have stop. You have to stop by this viewpoint. Uh, it's right behind the uh, Minions Water Park uh, or the Silly Fun Land, whatever it's called. Uh, and you gotta take a look at, at you know the Valley, the San Fernando Valley. You know. By the way, this is where um, the Fast and the Furious ride is going to be. Okay, and there's the Simpsons area over there. Look at how beautiful Los Angeles is at night. And Super Nintendo Land right there, look at that, Super Mario Land. Very, very cool. Alright, let's go to Paris. Le Bistro des Oiseaux. Well, not all the lights are on. The string lights. Let's go to the this area here. It's beautiful at night. Moulin Rouge. Nothing beats the smell of popcorn on a cold, rainy night. Alright, so we're at the Harry Potter land right now. This is my absolute favorite street to walk on at Harry Potter. Some of you guys know that, um, you know, I was born and raised in France. And in the city that I, love, uh, that I lived in, the streets were basically like this. Seriously. And they were narrow. And it smelled old, medieval times. And so when I walk here, it always gives me that sense of being back home they had little stores like this little boutiques and this really really makes me feel like wow you know I'm back in the city of Valence France I really like the decor Thank <laughs> you. 
I kind of wonder what's in there. Uh, we got to see the mechanism. Hope you enjoyed that. Let's keep walking. To me, one of the most amazing sights is this here, the main castle. It's humongous and the architecture is just unbelievable. Which way do you want to go? So this is where they sell the sticks. Magic sticks. I have a lot. Some more gear, some more merch. Look at the decor though, I mean, this is really, really cool. All right. Oh, I thought they were selling weed here. Dog weed. Okay, I do want to say that when you go to the men's restroom at Harry Potter, the background sounds that they have... Look, I don't know if it's me, but it sounds pretty inappropriate. So next time you go to the restrooms, the men, you go to the restrooms at Harry Potter, listen to the background. What's up with the weird kiddish noises with weird, I don't know, like weird moaning or screaming or giggling. I don't know what they are. But am I the only one that's a little bit uncomfortable with this? So here's a store that I've never been in, Honey Dukes. Let's go inside. Lots of sweets. Dude, all purple. Sigh. Interesting store. So if you're getting a sugar sweet tooth, head on over to Honey Dukes. Hello. Hello, mate. A quick hello. Safe. It's wonderful, thank you. Hello there, welcome to Oxley. Let's keep going. I uh, really miss the animal show already. 
again, um, just nostalgia and the fact that a lot of us had so many memories at the animal show. Um, and same thing with the Beetlejuice Castle. Um, so many good memories. Now, you guys know that, a lot of you guys may know that I used to work at Universal Studios back in the late 90s. Um, and I had such a great time working here. The staff was awesome. The, you know, the people working here really, really enjoyed what they were doing. Um, and just seeing that, again, part of the history is gone to make way for obviously a uh, roller coaster and other things that people have been asking for it still makes me feel a little bit sad because again it's it's erasing history and the last thing you want to do is to erase history because things are the way they are because history got us there okay i hope you understand what i'm saying but working at universal studios was amazing i was a show controller there and so i did the shows like water world the wild west stunt show rocky and bullwinkle um what else the wild west stunt show i already said that uh the nickelodeon show the flintstones show all those shows i was there i was either a show controller or i was a show controller lead um it was just such such great time and i have so many so many stories from Universal Studios. Um, I have memories here when it was Back to the Future, uh, then became uh, The Simpsons. Um, also down at the lower lot, uh, Jurassic Park, the ride. We were the first ones. Staff was the first ones to ride Jurassic Park, the ride, when it first opened way, way, way back. Um, it's great to know that it's still open and that it's Jurassic World now, but you know um, one day they'll remove it and they'll change it with something else and again we're gonna have that sadness that that moment of like man you're just removing history once more all right so i'm going downstairs right now i don't usually do that but i gotta get my steps in i usually go home with about 10 to 12 thousand steps i need to feel better i need to i need my body to work better and so you know you walk walking at universal studios that's the best place to do it you know there's plenty of uh, area to walk in and you know and you don't really feel the exercise uh, and so that's what we're doing now anyway I'm, I'm babbling. I'm just talking and talking and talking. And we're making our way downstairs. Um, now, back in the days, they used to say that the Universal Studios Hollywood um, escalator was the longest escalator in the world. I'm wondering if that's still the case. Uh, put it in the comments if you know this. Do you guys know how long it takes from the top of the escalators all the way to the bottom or the lower lot? If you do, put it in the comments. But honestly, if you work on the lower lot, so you got to go get dressed and technically rush downstairs so that you can make it on time for your shift. That's pretty crazy. If you work at Universal Studios, let us know how that works, okay? Because these escalators are always busy and people people kind of stand in the middle I like to stand on the right so that can people can pass through walk downstairs if they wanted to people like to block it I don't know why maybe they're just comfortable on the escalator but uh, it you know for the for the employees they need to make it to work on time so if you're watching this video why don't you move to the side a little bit and let the employees go by something that my students will ask me uh, they'll say, hey, uh, Mr. Nalbenton or Mr. John, uh, when you go to Universal Studios, do you do the rides? Honestly, I don't really do the rides anymore. Um, I'll do the tram. Uh, I might, I definitely do Waterworld, and those are not rides. But the mummy and all that stuff, I think I'm done with that. Like, I won't go to Six Flags anymore. Uh, like, I'll go there, but I won't do the rides. Uh, not because I'm scared, per se. No, I'm not scared. But I just don't do it because I'm in my mid-40s now. And the last thing I want to do is risk 
my health. And you know what? Yeah, you're going to say, yeah, but there's 70, 80 year olds doing it. Yeah, they're doing it, but I'm not going to do it and that's completely okay. Looks like someone got hurt. They fell down. I never realized that the caution cone is like a banana. Here we are. Am I exiting? Not just yet. Now don't call me an old fart, but <laughs> it's so noisy here. There, there's like there are different sounds coming from all corners. I just want to like mute and pick it up just a little bit, relax my ears just a moment. Can you guys hear this? Wow! All right, I'm gonna return to the park. Mm, this is what I like to hear: waterfall. I'm gonna go to the upstairs seating. I like some peace and quiet. This is the place to be. All right, everyone, I'm gonna start heading back. It's like 9.30 at night, they close at 10 p.m. And so we're gonna start heading back and, uh, and yeah, get more steps in until I get to the, to the exit. I don't know, but this sticker kind of looks weird to me. Looks like his butt is hurting. Excuse me, do you know uh, the way to the restroom? No? Do, do, do you know? You look mean. What's wrong with you? Constipated. I understand. All right, we're gonna order some uh, potato wedges, I think. Okay, so I ordered the potato wedges. I'm kind of hungry. All right, potato wedges it is. It's strange because I'm so used to coming and, and eating with my family, but um, since I'm riding solo today, I'll be eating the, the potato wedges by myself. And this is something that I learned from JP Land, or JP. Um, it was like, if you want to go on a budget and you don't have, you know, you don't want to eat a big meal either, you can get the potato wedges. Pretty good. Some barbecue sauce. I'm going to burn those calories anyway, so it doesn't really matter. But uh, right, I'm going to dig in. Can't go wrong. Love it. It's a little bit dark because I'm in um, what is this place? I guess the restaurant. I forgot what it's called. So, so, uh, three broomsticks. 
I should know this. How do I not know this? Anyway. So good. I think I'm gonna end the video here. I hope that you enjoyed um, my second universal video of the week. That's not really what I do, but I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, it's a little bit different. Um, till next time, subscribe, let people know much about my channel, and uh, take care of yourselves, okay?